That's right, Keenan and Alicia. We have seen this happen several times in Southeast Michigan. This is actually a trend we've been watching for several years. I've reported on the Northland Mall in Southfield, Eastland Mall in Harper Woods, Summit Place and Waterford. Those are a few examples of malls in our area that have been redeveloped. And now here with Lakeside, which you see behind me, this is yet another example of a regional mall in our area getting a second act. The irreversible decline of shopping malls around the country was one of the catalysts for the decision to consider redevelopment of Lakeside Mall, said Sterling Heights city manager during Tuesday's council meeting. When we're going through our visioning 2030 process, one of the top concerns from the community is what is going to be the future of Lakeside Mall. We all saw the writing on the wall. In a 5-2 to two vote, the council rubber-stamped the plan by Lionheart Capital, a Miami-based real estate firm, to turn the mall into Lakeside City Center, a mixed-use site with apartments, hotel and office space, dining and retail. City leadership, along with the city's mayor, see this as a slam dunk for financial and public interest, promising new jobs and further investment in the Hall Road corridor. However, not everyone was celebrating during Tuesday's meeting, including this community member who feels the city hasn't been transparent enough about the process. Out of the box, Ventures bought the mall in 2019 with the vision for redevelopment. There has been no reports about this particular subject that went out to the public where they understand it. This man runs a jewelry store inside Lakeside, and he's got questions. What's going to happen with us? When is it going to be announced when demolition, demolition is going to start? Are we moving out next month, in a year, two years? Now, the developers did say last night this will be a lengthy process. As far as the timeline that business owner was curious about, we're not expecting to see ground break here until 2024 at the earliest. All told, this process could take 12 years in total, and it will be done in phases. Phase one will be adding some retail and then repositioning some of the anchor stores. Macy's, like you see behind me, and JCPenney will remain here during and post construction. A lot more to come on this pretty major development here in Sterling Heights. Reporting live this morning from Lakeside Mall, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. And yeah, and you can understand why some of those smaller stores are like, hey, you got you're taking care of Macy's and the other big guys. What about us little guys? Hopefully they'll be able to make that transition too. Thank you so much, Jen.